the Flyers were back on the ice at practice today for an optional in Voorhees, New Jersey. But the big story of the day was it was a John Tortorella day. He delivered a very noteworthy, in-depth, detailed 15-minute press conference. And I'm here, Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports, to break it all down for you in my Flyers post-practice notes. So we'll start with the practice itself. It was an optional practice. It was what they call a skills practice. Skills practices they have maybe once every month, month and a half or so. Haven't had a lot of time to practice over the past few weeks. So they decided to get a skill practice in after a full day off yesterday. The bulk of the players did skate. Really, it was mostly just the high minutes veterans who chose not to participate in the skills practice today. We're talking Owen Tippett, Travis Konechny, uh, Scott Lawton didn't skate. Cam York and Travis, Travis Sanheim both took the option. Uh, Garnet Hathaway was the only guy who's a little bit further down the lineup who did not skate. But the, the big name who wasn't out there, I know all eyes were on him, or I guess not on him because he wasn't out there, was Sean Couturier, who left the uh, the game on Monday uh, with an apparent shoulder injury, slammed very awkwardly into the boards with his right shoulder, didn't return. After practice, John Tortorella gave him the day-to-day tag, but was pretty vague about it. He basically said, we're not sure, and when asked about his status. So day-to-day is positive for now, but it certainly doesn't seem like Couture is out of the woods yet. We'll see how this situation develops. There's also not a lot of time left here. There's only six games, so not a lot of time for Couture to return. Wasn't a great sign that he wasn't out there today, but we'll see tomorrow when they actually do a full, non-optional practice with the entire group if Couturier is out there. The big story today, however, was the 15-minute long John Tortorella press conference after the practice. Now, Torts gives one of these pressers, I would say every month or two, where he's just feeling especially talkative and decides to really open up to the media about kind of where his head is at. But I also think, in part, this one was a response to his post-game press conference on Monday. Tortorella, obviously, was very tough on the Flyers, very tough on his team after that game, which they lost in overtime to the New York Islanders, particularly tough on them and their play in the second period after he put uh, goaltender Ivan Vodotov making his NHL debut, threw him in there in the second period after Sam Harrison just wasn't playing up to standard in the first. Fedotov then had to face a barrage of shots because the Flyers, frankly, didn't do a good enough job of supporting it. They played better in the third. They tied the game with 9.6 seconds left, and they lose it in overtime. But Tortorella was still fuming about that second period, and Tortorella more or less called their play soft. He called out specific players, saying that right now they are not playing to the degree that they will need to play to be able to play in these kinds of late-season competitive playoff-type games, and very much was a uh, harsh challenge to, to guys. He left the, those guys unnamed. He didn't call them out by name, but it was a pretty harsh challenge, and it was uh, it was vintage John Tortorella in terms of him kind of throwing the gauntlet down to his team. So today, it just seemed like he kind of wanted to clarify really what he meant. And the one thing that Tortorella did today that he didn't really do in that two-minute presser on Monday was Tortorella took accountability for himself. He basically straight up said, I have not done a good enough job. He said he didn't do a good enough job at preparing his team to play these games, which in a sense is also kind of taking a shot at the team. But he acknowledged that this isn't just on the team. This is on him. This is on him to make sure his guys are ready for these games. And they've lost five straight, but really it's the last three that are the concerning games because you have two losses to bottom feeder teams at the end of last week to Montreal on the road and then Chicago at home. And then, yeah, they get a point out of the Islanders game. It's not a total disaster, but that second period really ate at Tortorella. And he just doesn't feel like his team has quite upped its game enough to match the intensity of this time of year. And that's his point of frustration. But his thing is that, and what he made clear today, like, Absolutely, you got to give him credit for for jumping up there and saying that he needs to be better, that he needs to find a way to make them understand that these games are different. And thus far, in his estimation, based on what he's seen, he hasn't done a good enough job of putting them in position, of preparing them to play these games at the intensity level they will need to play. So that was point number one with Tortorella, the the personal accountability that maybe wasn't quite there in the two-minute press conference we got on Monday. The second point, however, and this was something he emphasized throughout the entire 15-minute press conference, he wants to work to change the team's mindset. That's his focus right now. I get the sense he is afraid that maybe some of the players in the team 
are having a little bit of just happy to be here feeling and that that's what's driving them right now. The quote from John Tortorella was, we're here, face it, and let's be better. That essentially just getting to this point isn't enough anymore. They're here. Now they need to finish the job. And he just seems like he's a little worried that guys are maybe too accepting of, well, we had a good year, we overachieved. If we don't make the playoffs, it's not that big of a deal. And you know what? In the grand scheme of things, it really probably isn't that big of a deal if they make the playoffs because I don't think anybody expects them to do much more than maybe pull an upset in the first round. They're certainly not going to win the Cup. Everybody related to this team except probably the players, they don't think that this team is a Cup contender. Keith Jones and Danny Breer have said it multiple times. But they're here. And now it would be a real disappointment to both the fans, certainly the players, but also the organization, I think, if this team squanders this opportunity. So what Tortorella made clear today is that he wants the team and the coaches, as he said, have to be part of this. He wants them creating their own narrative. Don't fall prey to the narrative of the media. Joel Farabee today made it very clear on multiple occasions that, you know, he pays attention to the fact that the media doesn't believe in the Flyers. They haven't believed in the Flyers all year. So they pay attention to these these slights from the outside, from both the media and the fans. But he wants them to create their own narrative, John Tortorella does. The narrative of, we are good enough to make the playoffs, and we can meet this challenge. It's the idea of not getting sucked into the idea that we're not good enough. That was what Tortorella was emphasizing today. And... I believe that's probably what he's going to be emphasizing internally when he speaks with the team tomorrow at practice. And when he speaks with the team tomorrow at practice, that's something that I think he's absolutely going to emphasize, particularly because he noted this today in his kind of his mea culpa that he's taken a bit of a step back. The coaches have taken a bit of a step back over this run, kind of letting the room take care of things. I get the sense that he's going to take a little bit more of a hands-on approach starting tomorrow before the full practice, before they hit this uh, this back-to-back against Buffalo and Columbus, two teams the Flyers should beat, especially if they have designs on making the playoffs. They need to take care of business against teams that they are better than on paper. I believe the players are very much rallying back around that us-against-the-world mentality. I think that is very much a thing for this team. And maybe they let it slip a little bit when their playoff odds were over 80% by all the outside models. But now they're back to a round coin flip. So it's much easier for the team to kind of pull from that no one believes in us narrative. Again, it's all about the players in Tortorella's mind creating their own narrative for these last few games of the year. The big thing John Tortorella also emphasized was he doesn't want this team to have any regrets. He is going to push them extremely hard, and really he's been pushing them extremely hard for the past month. It's kind of been like over-the-top motivational tactic to next to over-the-top motivational tactic over and over again. You had the Couturier scratch. You had, you know, obviously the Fedotov in the middle of the game. That was a Hail Mary, putting in a guy who's never seen NHL action into the biggest game in the year after not playing in the first period. He just keeps going to these wells, and you get the sense that a lot of it is because he doesn't want these guys to have any regrets at the end of the year as to the effort they put in to try to make the playoffs. He's going to keep pushing them hard, and he did not apologize for pushing them hard and for the fact that he's going to keep pushing them hard over these next six games. In his mind, it's just going to come down to whether they can get that right mindset, whether they can get that motivation, whether they can create that proper narrative in their heads over the six games. That's going to decide whether they make the playoffs or not, and I guess we're going to see what happens. I've been Charlie O'Connor with PHLY Sports. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. 